So you go to this castle that so many parties and dances and events and dramas happen in it. Kings and queens, they made decisions. They executed people. They decided on war. They decided on marriages. All kinds of things happen. But now when you walk into the same building, there's nothing. There's empty space. There's absolutely no evidence of anything else. It's like you wrote something on a flat surface of, an, of a lake. It's clear. Or at the pool. You go to a pool and you write something. You use your finger or you take a stick and you write something on the water. And in a, as you're writing it, it starts to disappear. And what's left? There's the water. Water is left. It's flat. Same thing. You have gone to all these different events. All these historical events have happened in Taj Mahal. You heard of Taj Mahal in Agra in India? How many people have heard of Taj Mahal? How many people have been in Taj Mahal? And you go there and... Because when you go into these cathedrals, these old buildings, and they have history and they, you've had so many different emperors, kings, queens, warriors, leaders of armies, scientists, politicians, magicians, physicists, chemists, Alchemists have been there, lived there. But then you enter into this space and none of them are there. But the space remains the space. The space hasn't changed. It's still an empty space. And it doesn't require any doing. You don't need to preserve it. You don't need to do anything to it. It doesn't need anything. And that's silence. It's always here, but it doesn't require any kind of maintenance. It doesn't require any kind of it, any anything. You don't have to do anything because at the end of the day, when your mind finally slows down and shuts down, what starts to trans, transpire? It's silence that reveals itself. Do you understand what I'm saying? Are you with me? Are you here? I want to make sure you're here and you're not getting hypnotized or not going to deep meditation or falling asleep with me. I need your attention because this is important. This is the turning point between your awakening or remaining a robot. You are, by birth, that space. That's who you really are. This other one that you think you are is only an appearance that appears in this empty space. And it's got a duration. Whatever age you are, you're 30 years old or you're 80 years old. You have an appearance. After that, your appearance is going to disappear. It appears and it disappears. 
It's like a wave. A wave comes no matter how big and bad and scary it may appear. You know, it's 30 meter wave. Oh my God, we're in Hawaii. It's a 30 meter wave appears. It looks monstrous. You don't want to be around that or under it or come close to it because it's going to crush you. But what happens after it falls down? Where does it go? This big, bad, mean looking wave, where is it coming from? And where is it going back to? It comes from the ocean. It is the ocean. And it goes back into the ocean. So then the next day you go to the same place, same, same beach, and everything is calm. There's nothing going on. Where is the wave? Where is the boogeyman? Where is that scary monster? It goes back to where it came from. Same thing. The appearance of your body appears into empty space. It's got a duration, and then it goes back to its own source. Like a wave appeared, and then it goes back. It has, the appearance has no substance of itself. Just like your body, it appears into emptiness, it comes from silence, and then it just returns back into silence. But silence remains the same. Silence doesn't come and doesn't go, because that's the background. There is the black background here, or back here, behind me. It's the black background. I just happen to come in front of it, and then if I go, I'm not, what do you see? You see the black background. The black background is always there. And now maybe I go this direction. Don't worry about where this thing goes. Your attention is on this. Your attention is absolutely on the wrong place. So you need to wake up and bring your attention on the real thing, that which doesn't come and doesn't go, that which is always here. Comprende? You understand what I'm saying? Now you may get a little bit idea of the challenge I go through. You may get an idea of sometimes the frustration I have to deal with. You may get an idea that's why this is not marketable. It's not a product I can sell and make a living from it. And that's why nobody wants to teach it. Because it has no marketing value. It's simply empty space. Who wants to spend money on empty space? 